<laughs> yay. Good morning. Yay. Good we morning. We right in time. Yes. I, Very I nice. Could, I could see you. I just wanted to make sure you can see me. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm actually switching myself a little bit so that everybody gets all the faces and stuff okay in place so Oop. now yeah <laughs> whoops yep very yeah, nice got... very nice i yeah, think I we have rug there and... yeah very nice and and the colors are great i'll i'll just take take the actually i see the comments there so it's okay for me okay. i'm trying to get the other other system here so that i know that what what is the time and so on but hey we have some 40 43 participants right now so very good that's very good today I, we see, are I see 53 on my screen very you have more than me <laughs> <laughs> that's good <laughs> yeah so very warmly we are welcoming melinda to join our casa festa with netissa we are having i think now we have already over sixty thousand people in the wow. group so so this is now something that we have set up in Finland during this pandemic, uh, or actually uh, our crafters has been setting up this kind of happenings. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the third time that we are having this. Wow. But first time actually we are broadcasting like this. Oh, so wow. In interviewing overseas. So you are, you are very welcome. Thank yeah. you. Happy to be here. Yeah, <laughs> very happy to be with you. <laughs> very good. We are glad to. So I think we could, because people are, well, first of all, uh, Finland is a, uh, is a land of Ria rocks. And Ria rocks meaning Ryu. So anybody Ryu. who is not, not familiar with, with the thing, we are speaking about Ryu. So uh, of course, it has been. Uh, textile art in Finland for uh, for hundreds of years, but uh, not everybody knows Ryu mm. very well. So, so let's try to keep it kind of kind of easy going and, and mm -hmm. uh, talk about what what is happening here in Finland and there in US. And uh, let's start from the you know it's it's the Scandinavian way of doing the the textile art or it has been of course before it has been used for very practical things but nowadays more uh, mm -hmm. art <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> right and uh, i think you could start by introducing yourself and what is your history with the ria rocks well um my grandfather was from 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 sweden and he lived in the united states all his life and he was um he met a Swedish man who ran a business in Sweden where he, that man supplied Swedish Ria rug making supplies. And my grandfather was very nice to him and brought him home for a big Thanksgiving dinner. And that man thanked him by sending him a Ria rug backing and yarn, a kit. I was born that year. So all my life, I grew up with Ria in my house. Well, my grandparents then, then went to Sweden and met with the company and they became my grandparents became the distributors of all ria um, from this company um, for about 20 years and when when was this um 1955 56 okay through um i left in 1982 when my grandparents were well my grandfather had just passed away my grandmother was very old and the biz there was no business anymore it had just faded away in the mid oh well the, the early 1980s the late 1970s but in the meantime i had taught i had designed for people i worked for my grandparents i packaged boxes for them but it was clear that that it was not reaching an audience at that point but it was back in the 50s and the 60s and early Definitely. 70s yeah so i had it in my blood and, and when I left and I, I got married and moved to Maryland from Massachusetts, um, I made a rug every year or so just for the fun of it, mostly to use up my supplies because I had a lot of supplies. <laughs> and my parents sold my grandparents' business out of the family and it was sort of forgotten for about 30 years. But I was still in contact with the woman who bought it and I would buy a little bit from her now and then. 
and well about in, in 2011 you want me to get into the video <laughs> yeah. my, my friend ken coons who's a photographer and worked for a newspaper wanted to do a story on dying arts and he knew that i had been involved with ria rug making all my life so we did a, a i think a 10 minute video explaining what i knew which was only from my grandparents because i didn't know anybody else who really exactly. knew us. so i was i was saying what i thought what i knew what i believed and then the video went out and now it's been seen by over six hundred thousand viewers is that in youtube still yes because yes. i think that is how i met you first probably time. yeah <laughs> okay good <laughs> And, and so after, when that was out, then the photographer, Ken, said, you know, your video is getting more views than all of my other videos put together. And he had a lot of videos on dying arts. And he said, there's really something going on here. People want to know about this. And I said, I know I'm getting emails every day asking how people can get started. So then things started to fall into place. I found some people who were um, buying from Norway and, and I started to buy backing and yarn again. But at that point, I knew I had to write a book because I couldn't answer so many calls mm. and so many emails every single day. And, and so I wrote a book and it took me about nine years. But that was 2011 when you started the book. Yeah. 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 Uh, Whoa. So, so here we are <laughs> and you had a long long journey journey with the book so so how how what have you done during you have been writing the book while i was writing it what was i doing yeah yeah oh, well <laughs> hit my cord yeah. um i was still responding to those emails and phone calls every day i was teaching classes which take okay. a lot of time because I, I was involved in organizations that wanted to promote um, arts and yeah. international arts. So I found myself getting distracted from the book. Yeah, yeah. And about halfway through the book, I started to learn about Finland and how mm -hmm. important Finland is in the whole Ria, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ria process and the history. But I had no, I didn't know anybody personally who could tell me more until I, well, I did meet a couple of people who were very yeah. helpful. And I'm and the, the people who I have it in the back of the book, the, uh, the Finnish companies that are still helping people, they are my, they are the people that guided me mm. through emails, you know, um, about how the, the process and how to, how you do your knot making and how you yeah. use your backing. And so I, I put the book on hold. I slowed down and started to incorporate that into the book because it had nothing on Finnish um, background, yeah. a little bit, but not much. And it's, it's much better now because it has that, but, but it's still one of my weakest points in understanding the story yeah. of Rhea. But is it so that in Sweden, there is not that much going on with Rias anymore? There's very little. There's one... Um, shop, the Svensk yeah. Hemsloid in, yeah. in Stockholm, they sell Norwegian backing and still... And it's Swedish. Norwegian. Yes. Mm. And, and they mm. still sell the, some Swedish yarn, but the quality isn't, isn't what it used to be. Okay. It, so I buy from Norway and Norway, I buy yeah. from, from Finland, from mm. just backing at this point, because there, there's so many colors in Finland that once yeah. I start buying the colors, I'd have to buy all the colors. Yeah. <laughs> it's something like every every uh, shop has something like 200 colors in their maps so I it's know. like it's very it's very rich i would say yes and yes. looking at your rias back there behind you mm -hmm. uh it is very car colorful there i think you are using well, a lot of colors yes but I'll, I'll show you one that's um more like what i've seen okay you do <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah gray nice gray very nice all, yeah. all natural yeah 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 that's right so there's a mix um, some people are into bold colors and others very subtle color combinations so yeah um, yeah some i think of as being more finished in style and some more 
uh, mid-modern exactly yeah yeah and now as you told that the, you are buying from norway and finland but that's basically the places where you can even buy the real right. material right. so right it is really concentrated to to scandinavia and of course Definitely. Ria, Ria is scandinavian so even though it is quite uh, how do we say popular or uh, we have been keeping keeping going on with rias even if sweden has an example right but it's still scandinavian so all the countries norway sweden right. and finland are doing it anyhow but yeah yeah and and maybe sweden will start to to do exactly. it again if they yeah. if they, i don't know what it is i i was contacted by several people in sweden who um who didn't know how to do it and they wanted to learn yeah and i i i, I so my book i hope will get to sweden as well and yeah. norway um, now it's time to show your book <laughs> oh, yeah so yeah so this is really first thing i would say in the world where you can you can really learn doing ria rocks in english so yes so yes. this is something very special for the, actually for the whole world as we don't have anything like this we, we wow. don't have it in finland and now we have it here in yes finland. so and, and in other countries as well of course and, and in i've got us <laughs> i've got paperback now too yeah <laughs> yeah actually <laughs> i think we are both so everybody will be seeing this as a as a mirror or whatever but anyhow oh. Yeah. yeah yeah you know you know you can write you know yeah but yeah that's this is this is very precious to everybody who, well like, that's like good spreading spreading this uh old-fashioned way of doing or not old fashion we are very modern with the with the doing right. but anyhow yeah the, the the technique is old right and for for that i would say but yeah hey let's get back to those you have had lessons there or kind of workshops in us mm -hmm. have you been doing it all over us or have you been in maryland mostly uh mostly in maryland and okay. um i did go to new england to connecticut um there's a um a company called um stitches and, oh. and stitches does shows all over the united states maybe beyond i'm not sure mostly focusing on knitting and other things but they did one called stitches united which meant other things like maybe felting and mm. and and I was um, they really appreciated my presence there because it was so different and it was in a convention center with thousands and thousands of people and uh, and I was with the yarn guys who mm. are, they I, I buy my Norwegian yarn from them and backings so they gave me a booth to hang all my rugs in all that I could carry so it was a beautiful booth and people were just they had no idea what it was and yeah so this was so it was a good exposure um but um no beyond that well i was working on the book so hard and i thought it's when the book is done i will travel well, okay the book yeah well was done in march <laughs> and i had to wear a mask when i went to get my books and yeah. i printed it another 500 books so there have been a 1000 printed and about half of them have sold so, but without, still, I, without traveling well, they're all been mailed yeah all yeah, mailed yeah exactly yeah you, you have uh, have i understood correctly you have some kind of network within us you have some connections in different states or do you kind they, of who the the ones who are able to help somebody doing ria rocks do okay. you have this kind of well okay i put i have a newsletter do you get my ah, newsletter? Yeah, I, I do. I do. Okay. In my newsletter, yeah. I always say, if you know Ria, if you've made one or two, mm. and you could help somebody in your neighborhood. Very good. Tell me. And, and I have a map on my wall. Maybe Whoa. I, I can yeah. show you. You can see behind the lamp. See that map? Yeah. There's a, Whoa. There's a, there's a pin. There's a white tag, a very small white tag for every person I sell Ria supplies to. So I know who they are and where they are. <laughs> and and then and I have a pink tag for everybody who has stepped forward to say, hey, I'll help. If oh. anybody needs help, they can come to my house or I'll meet them at the library and I'll help exactly. them. Exactly, 
Exactly. So it's, I, I call them mentors. I think we have about 25. Yeah. And That's there's some nice. in Sweden and um, Netherlands, and um, you probably you should be on there. I should be. I yeah yeah <laughs> definitely yeah. But but since the pandemic, now it's almost pointless. I mean, anybody can email anybody or call mm. anybody. Safely. Yeah, exactly. So, so I'm so down. So it's not face it to bit. face at at the moment. At, right. At all, of course not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's yeah. nice when somebody has a question. I can say, you know. You can call me anytime, but you can also call the person in the next town who, who, who would probably love to talk with you for an hour. You yeah. Because I might not yeah. have an hour for everybody every day, but. And I definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's really a quite big problem. Yeah. 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 But okay. Uh, so is this your, by the way, is this your main work, these, these RIAs? Do you do anything? Wow. Well, what do you do? I was working as a very active artist, as a printmaker and painter in, in various media. And then I thought I could just slip a little Rhea in there. But when the video came out and when I started writing the book, I had to put everything else on hold. And I have committed myself to sticking this out with Rhea and being, well, I really want to save the, the art form. and. Um, and I feel like I'm doing it for my grandparents as well as the world because my grandparents realized a long time ago how beautiful it is as mm -hmm. an art form. And when they died, it had it had died off and they were so sad that all they had worked for seemed to be falling through the cracks. And so mm -hmm. suddenly I just, yeah, I mean, right now I, I made a decision oh, 10 years ago just to drop what else I was doing and jump in with both feet. Okay. And, Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I want to get back to painting too someday, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, it's a very good combination anyway, because paint, yes. the rias are definitely something that you paint and yes. you are, you are just using yarns with it. And yes. I always say to the, to the ones who are listening and, and uh, who, who might not know about the yarn combinations and st stuff like mm -hmm. that. I usually have this example that if you have yarns with 50, the 50 different colors and you use four yarns per one knot, then you will get over 60 million color combinations. Wow. So yeah. it's, and then when you mix those together next to each other, you have another I don't even yes. know the, the, the kind of, so that's the beauty of the, of the Rias that yes. you really can mix. It's not like one color to one color, but it's the yes. combinations that you have endless. And that's if so we are true. speaking that the, the, these Finnish yarn uh, or Ria yarns have colors like 200, then I cannot even <laughs> say the, the, the number that they will bring. So yeah, it's yeah. That in that sense, it's it's endless. And then still our eyes, when you get your eyes still with it and you yeah. look at it, it will give you a, another world. Again. Right. It's so true. Yeah. I, I often say with, with three strands on a needle and mm -hmm. three colors, you mm -hmm. can get 10 color combinations. Exactly. Just with three colors. Yeah, I, I could. Yeah. This is this is ah, but that is also in your in your book. Yes. So this has three colors, <laughs> and three. So it's it's ten col I I think this even has uh, eight. Oh eight wow. Eight combinations. So even. Yeah. It's, it's so amazing what you get. Yes. With yes. so less or so so. Are you so little? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. little. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I know. So, I think that's the that's the difference between a handmade designed Rhea by anybody who does it and mm -hmm. something that you buy where maybe a machine just has a, a solid color put in an area. Exactly. And you can yeah. see the quality from very far away. It's, it's yeah. not even hard to tell. Yeah. That's I'm right. working on a design and I have a color card. It's since Please we're talking us. about colors. Yeah, definitely. This is Whoa. one. It's just got blues and beiges mm -hmm. and whites and browns. Mm-hmm. I can see it's kind of washed it's, out but, there. Yeah, yeah, we can we can see it anyhow. But, but how how many colors do you have as an option, like in in your selection? Oh, um, I have about eighty, 
from Norway, I have about um, 80 thinner yarn, thinner, more like the Finnish yarn from mm -hmm. Norway, the okay. same fleece. It's very coarse fleece, not soft like, not soft like Finland, I mean to say. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and I have my grandparents' yarn, which there's not much left. Like there's Whoa. no, there's no Whoa. blue, but this Anymore. is what I, okay. yeah, no more made. So when it runs out, it's gone. But Can you I'll, combine those yarns or do you combine oh, yeah. those with your models? Yeah. So yes. you are using the different kind of, and different, yeah. yeah. The, the Norway colors are very compatible with my grandparents' colors. Mm. Um, and, and in truth, if, if I had a full array of the Finnish colors, there would just be no end to the texture as well as the mm. colors because it's really nice to blend them yeah that's right that's right and do you how do do your your cost, customs they or customers do they how do how do you sell a ria what, what is the process or do you sell kits or what is the well of... okay um now i can i can sell them a book and just say mm. read it and see what you want to do Mm. And if they say, oh, I don't design, I, you know, mm. I like it's art, hard. I it's do. hard. I cannot. It's, uh, yes. I will okay. never learn it. it. You know, this is what, what yeah. people are saying. Yeah. At least so I say, I hear. Mm. Then make a kit. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I, I make my own kits and I, and I have, when I designed for my grandparents 30, yeah. 40 years ago, I made so many designs for their customers, which then became part of our repertoire but now I have to adapt them to the new backing. So I have yeah. hundreds oh. of designs that I can't sell because I have to just take a day or two to adapt and recalculate how much yarn. Exactly. And so if I only had two of me, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, but what I do is um, I, and I, I have a, a range of um, like that little gray fire flower I just showed you. That's a kit. And, um, and people can choose whatever color they want, and I give ah. them a lot of choices. So, um, I'll so show you, you have a you have a kit, but then they can choose the, all the colors for it. Well, no, for, they can choose uh -huh. red. Yeah, let me. Ah, I'll show you. okay, okay. Whoa, that's oh, the nice. same that's the as same. The, gray, the gray one, yeah. but in reds. Good. Uh, any if there are any pins online, you can you can find some you know similarities with this i know some red ones in finland whoa oh, okay. those are great yeah yeah and so with these i made a template i thought i'd just show you my template yeah. i cut i cut out the line and i can draw a magic marker on the backing ah. so they're all the same so i know my calculations of how much yarn they need are accurate exactly. so i give them like a lot of reds and i say for the for the outer color this use area. the darkest ones any ah. of the darkest ones mix so them they, any way you want exactly and then as you get to the middle it's just the white or yellow or whatever but mix them yourself and do yes. whatever you want yeah nice. and then they they're very smart when they're done with that then they know i can mix i can do whatever i want sometimes exactly. purple goes with you know blue or orange you know it depends on what you do with it so mm. so they play and then they have fun and well i i sell on etsy as well but mostly i like to teach but um i try to just get the word out that you know you can do it yourself or you exactly. can let you can buy one buy a kit exactly yeah yeah and that's very easy now with your book i think yeah. it, it gives a lot of new information for those who have not been working with Rias. So, right. because right. at least I say always to my customers that the technique is not the problem, definitely. Right. It's no. so easy. <laughs> it's very yeah. easy. Yes. And, and then, then, of course, designing it is very hard and the calculations are, you, you really need to concentrate and, and calculate almost one by one or then make one first and then see how much yarn you used yeah th so that works it is yeah. it is a hard way but but if you have something ready or you have in your mind what you are going to do then the technique is not the, the yeah the most can i show you a, part yes. i'll show you a design I'm, I'm working on i mean this was my first sketch just just playing with like a mountain theme mountain and energy and I, I played some more, made 
some more drawings. Uh, but this is just playing and anybody can do this. A child can do this. Yeah. And then I took a piece of graph paper and I made the graph paper match my backing. And I, and I painted it on and I'm starting to square off the lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my husband and I are going to be making this for, for my niece. I hope she's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are the colors we're going to use. Okay, so that was the color map, map of yeah, yeah, of course. Right. So how, it's not how, yeah, it's what not would, done yet. But what hmm. would be the size of that kind of? Oh, um, that's going to be one hundred and twenty yeah. centimeters wide okay. oh, by eighty big, yeah. centimeters. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's pretty good yeah. size. It's, it's a wall hanging, and it will hang horizontally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How about now? We get to the. It will be wall hanging. Yes. How how do you see what what how people use Rias in, in yeah. the US? Well, um, in the US, most people put them on the floor because they grew up with them on the floor. Most of my customers have some history with Ria from their grandparents. Mm -hmm. And they were always on the floor and they still look good on the floor, although it can be very hard on a rug, on a Ria. Definitely. So, so were, were there the the price is fairly high now compared to what it well it was high back in the day too but mm -hmm. but since the price is high people are starting small and if you make something small you have to hang it yeah. you really should <laughs> yeah and and then and more and more people are and i suggest people hang them on the wall so they look the same in 500 years as they do now i have some of the rugs my grandparents had they had on the floor of their business and all over their whole house Mm. I've got a hall runner out here, a long runner, <laughs> and it's it's probably never been washed. It's been walked on forever. It looks great, okay, but yeah, it's but... not perfect. It's not mm -hmm. perfect, but it's too long to hang. I mean, I, I might even cut it in half because okay. it has a design that I can, and then I can put them through the house in different places. Yeah, but yeah, but, um, yeah no, I fin fin Finnish people taught me how important it is not to walk on rear rugs. And then I realized that the yarn is different too, and it's a softer yarn and really shouldn't, I, I can see it shouldn't be walked on. But yeah. it also, it seems like almost disrespectful to, to put them on the floor and walk on them when, but it just becomes part of life and it's, it becomes, yeah. it's, it's okay. If something spills on it, you clean it off, you yeah. rinse it, you wash it. Yeah. So it, it, in my book, I had, I took a stand and I said, if I had to say one yes or no on the floor, I would say no. And my sister saw that. She said, what are you talking about? <laughs> We've had them on the floor forever. I said, yeah, but some of them don't look so good. Mm. And, mm. you know, so I say either way, do what you want, um, mm. but consider it, if it's, consider it art and it can be art for the wall, art for the bed, art for yeah. the couch, clothing. Definitely, yeah. Or? And I would say, because in, in Finnish homes, we are usually, we are taking our uh, shoes off when we can come in. So yeah. there will not be any sand or anything else like that. So you yeah. can easily put it on the, on the floor in the bedroom or sure. maybe in the living room if you don't mm -hmm. have dogs, dogs or small kids <laughs> and so yeah. on. Yeah. But, but, but then, you know, at least the ones, if, if you are making it yourself first and using those hundreds of hours, it, yes. it's good to know that it, it is not the same within 10 years than it was as it was new. So, that is true. Totally true. Yeah. And, and the sand, especially, it will go into it and it will eat the wool yes. bit by bit. Yes. And uh, what I do recommend wholeheartedly is that people take them outside often and shake them out if there's any yeah. sand let it go if there's dog hair you know it just yeah. anything and the more they shake them out the better and if you yeah. have snow sh pat them in the snow yeah don't i don't know if, if you know the story about the metsaru you we have it's the forest it has been designed by ora simberg and uh, I just had a lesson where, where uh, we heard that it was huge. It was designed for Montreal uh, uh, World, uh, what is the? World Fair. Fair, yeah. 
it was mm -hmm. uh, year 65, I think, 1965. Wow. Okay. wow. And uh, after that fair, it was uh, lying on the Helsinki City Hall on the floor, and there mm -hmm. were even some festival or whatever dinners oh, no. having on top of that. And it was like four meters times two meters, or I don't even remember how big it was. And now they say that. After that usage, it has been now on the uh, like fixing it, and it, it is quite badly. It, it oh. looks good, but inside it's it's bad. But anyhow, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I always guarantee that if you make a riarak with a good supplies, it will live for three hundred years when yeah. you use it correctly. But uh, I yeah. agree. Yeah. yeah. And everybody deci decides. I would like to have next to my bed a nice re-up when I woke up and I put my feet yeah. on the floor. It would be yeah. very good. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anything? Uh, how How is it the the situation in US regarding Finns and fin Finnish rias? That is a good question. And I, as I was writing my book, knew almost nothing about Finnish Rias. Mm -hmm. And if I knew nothing, I, I would say that the majority of the country knew nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, and the, every now and then, somebody will um, come to me with a beautiful Finnish rug that their parents had made, or mm -hmm. they, if they have heritage that of, yeah. from Finland, then they have the Finnish rugs, but they don't even know that they're Finnish. Finnish, yeah. <laughs> and um, it, it's. I, I think there's a lot of education to be done. Yeah, yeah, and and, and and that's that's probably because we don't know. We don't know here. What what is this? Is it the is it the handmade or or machine made or what? Yeah. What is the kind of figure? Who is the designer or whatever? It, it's it's in that sense. It's we have that one group where where there are a lot of people who knows a lot of things about Rias. But, uh, but yeah. yeah, if they don't have the tag behind, it's very mm -hmm. hard to know and say that who has been the designer or who has done it or yeah, or when it was done or what, what is the name of it and so on. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think in, in, in US, because there are a lot of Finns, F F Finnish people has moved to US, so there must be yes. areas where yeah, they might have something in the back of the, <laughs> you know. Yes, I, I know, and, and I I hear from them every week. Somebody will okay. contact me. Um, yeah. One lady brought her brought a rug she was working on from her, and her mother was was dying of Alzheimer's and was and she was not really coherent. She couldn't speak yeah. with her mother, but she brought me her rug, and I kind of recognized it as a finished design. And this was years ago, and I, I can't remember somebody, one of my top women in Finland who, yeah. who who's in the back of the book, helped yeah. me identify it. Um, and she good. finished yeah. it. And she was so happy. She had tears running down her face when she learned the history of it. And yeah. so um, I think people have them, and it's just they don't know how to talk about it because they don't even know the word. Exactly. Ria. What is oh, it? Ria. What is yeah. it? Yeah. And that's and, actually one thing that, that is very good in your book that you are speaking about the terms, like like you are writing the terms and, and like I said, I, I, I was probably making models, but then maybe oh. the correct thing is to make designs. Yes. And like this kind of we don't have a vocabulary for, for this kind of things when we speak about Rias. Well, we can help each other there. Yeah, yeah, of know? course. But in, 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 if, if somebody in Germany finds yeah. a Ria, he doesn't know what this is. Is it, is it then a rug or what it is? Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I think that, that uh, those words are not existing. So we need to kind of, for some of them, we need yeah. to find out what is the correct wording. For yes. Them. And some words that I didn't know, I just kind of made up. Like yeah. <laughs> th there's a backing from Finland from mm. um, Taito Pirkanma. Taito, yeah, yeah. How do you say that? It, uh, that was correct. Pirkanma. Okay. Taito Pirkanma. Like here's here's a piece. Good, you have it there. <laughs> I do. And 
and I, I didn't know what to call it because it's so different. It's mm. it's like a weave on the back, but it yeah. has where you make the knots on the yeah. on the front. And um, that's yeah. Correct. And and so when I was writing about it, I didn't know what word to say, so I call it surface knotting because mm. you're knotting on the surface and the knots don't show in the back. Exactly. And that, that was totally foreign to me until yeah. until I got this in my hand. I didn't know this existed. And I don't know anybody in the United States who has ever who has used that. this. Yeah. And but they have the, sa the same is with uh -huh. Ryu Palvelu. They oh, yes. have this same kind of. So yes, this I is have... actually a, a pillow case. Yes. But, yeah. I have some so, of that too. Yep. Have you tried to knot on this? Yes. Yeah. This is very easy. I think yes. this is the most, most reasonable or kind of for the beginning. This is. Oh, really? Very yeah, nice I guess so. to do. Yeah. I, I think, I think, I know. I <laughs> but it's of course mm -hmm. what you are used to. That's not what I'm used to. No. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm, yeah, it's not what I'm used to, but, but I like it. Yeah. When I yeah, use it, nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then now when we got to the backings, <laughs> I yes. have here also, this is another one. I think, does this look familiar to you or? Yes. I, I have some of that from well, Vuorelma. Vuorelma, yes, exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, uh, I think the Suomen käsityön ystävät have also this same kind of, but they are unfortunately not selling the backings, oh. so I don't have an example of that, oh. and they have actually, they have, I assume they have a cotton, the, the weft is cotton. Oh, okay. Do you have there another example? Well, this is um, what I mostly use from Norway. Ah, okay. So it's heavy. Uh, you can see how thick the warp is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It really is. Do you use every warp of it? Yes. yes. And I know, I know on some of the finished ones, they're close together so you can skip one. Mm -hmm. But mm. Not, not in this case. Not in this case. Yeah, this is, this is then Wetterhof. Yes. And, and for my models, as, as I, I do squares, so uh -huh. we are always knotting on two of the wefts and leaving one out. Okay. So, okay. But it yeah. can be also designed so that you, you knot on every. So you have it there. <laughs> you, have mo <laughs> you have more than we have in I know. Finland. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to talk to people personally when I sell this because I have to explain it more clearly than the other backing that most yeah. people are used to. And since I haven't had one-to-one -one contact, I saw some this morning from my Etsy shop. So there is a lady who's going to get this in the mail, a piece of it, a small piece um, tomorrow. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Was that, was that by the way, that the Norwegian, it's also wool and uh, linen. linen. Wool and yeah. linen. It's very yeah. coarse. It's very heavy. Okay. And their, their Ria, Ria garn is um, very coarse. I mean, you would not want okay. it around your neck on a scarf. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's, it's beautiful. Do you want to see it? Yes, sure. <laughs> this is, this is the Rauma Ria okay. garn. But, so that's the color range. Very good. Yeah. And but then, the, yeah. <laughs> and this is the very, this is the same sheep, the spell so. And it's thinner. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. So what I like to do is use two strands of the heavy Ria garn and one strand of the thinner Pridviv garn. Okay. To give it texture and color blending. Very nice. Are those colors matching to each other? Are they same? Um, many. They use many. the same, okay. same dye bath for some of them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but this has a right. 600 number, this has a 500 number, but if it's like 624, it's the yeah. same color as 524. 524, yeah, so it's yeah. easy then also to know that those are yeah. matching each other if, yeah. if, if yeah. you need those. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, It is interesting. Yeah. I love teaching a class where I can spread out all my supplies, all the mm. yarn from every country that makes it, or used to make it even, and just let people just see the spectrum of what's possible. Yeah, exactly. And then they can pick any yarn and use 
a Finnish backing with Norwegian yarn if they want or vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Are your, your uh, workshops, are they lasting more than one day? My workshops? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. My, my favorite ones, they last a whole week, like all morning, Ooh. all morning for the whole week. Whoa. That's and they, nice. everybody designs their own, whatever size they want. And they have to do all the calculations. Oh, very nice. So they don't even start making knots until maybe Wednesday. I was thinking that third day. Or Thursday. Yeah. And yeah. occasionally Friday. But once they start, and then they have a total understanding of how to do it. Exactly. Yeah. That's sometimes I'm, I'm having also those three hour lessons where we ac oh. actually, we use this kind of, I don't even know what this, you, oh, you might. I think it's monk's cloth. Yeah. Monk's you, cloth. you put potatoes and coffee into this. Yeah. Burlap. Yeah. Yeah. Burlap. burlap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we use this for the training. It's not the, it's not the best, but anyhow, yeah. you, can, you can train it. But. Uh, sometimes people expect that during those three hours, they will finish the ria. <laughs> I know. We, we, we barely have the first line made and, and that's it. So yeah. uh, when, when, if there is somebody who is watching and wanting to do it, uh, give it, give it a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just it, got, I was just called by a, a, a Swedish museum in Philadelphia. And they mm. want me to do an online class and make nice. little kits. And, and I haven't done that yet because it will mean cutting backing. And yeah. I don't like to cut. Mm. I mean, I can and I will just, just to put it in people's hands so they can make a small piece. But yeah. they want it to be totally like self-explanatory. And then I can talk face to face with them as they do it. But um, Okay. That's hard. That, yeah. that, that kind of, or it's a challenge. Yeah, I might. I think I'm going to try it just to see of if course, I can do it. Of course, yeah. And I'm, I'm definitely planning to do that also here. Those online things, but, but of course, it's easier and it, you can explain more deeply when you are with the person there. Yeah, and doing it. And and right. of course, we example we had when when the pandemic uh, came in, we had these two. Uh, Ryu Retriti and Kesaryu 2020. Okay. In, in the last online course, we had more than 500 participants. So wow. So it is That's possible, fantastic. but it's it's you cannot teach everybody like yes. like personally. So. And did you prepare 500 kits to send out? Not that many, but I sent I sent out quite many. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, but of course, people have example this kind of uh, backing they can get yeah. from the shops, and then they yeah. can use their own yarn. So, not everybody needs to needs to order it from me and so on. But right. yeah, right. Uh, of of course, when you start to make a real riarak, I always uh, recommend to use the correct uh, backing and and good yarn. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's better better in that way. Yeah, good good. So what about then? We have a couple of minutes still before Ooh. we need to end. Even though <laughs> it would be nice to speak something like four hours. I here. know <laughs> so much to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have well, something nice to, to tell or show us? Let me think. Oh, well, you know, I, I did, I pulled out some yarn in case we got into the difference of the yarns. Yeah, please show because, us. Um, because nobody knows this, but um, I have three kinds of yarn here and they're mm -hmm. all about the same color. Mm -hmm. And this one is my grandparents' yarn, which is not made anymore. It was made in the United States, trying to make it as close to the Swedish yarn as possible. Okay. So I have this. There's yeah. this one. You recognize that? It must be. Ah, it's from uh, Buon. Uh, uh, yeah, Buon 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 Buon. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Because I, I was buying from them in the very beginning before yeah. they before they stopped. You know, but yeah. But now they are selling again. I yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just so to, hard to, to keep up. Also also tell tell everybody who is online. Yes. Yeah, of yeah. course they are still 
Okay. This, this, this third one is the Norwegian. Norwegian. Okay. The Norwegian, Finnish, Finnish, American, American. Nice. Yeah. 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 Are those all 100% wool? Yes. 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 For sure. Virgin wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Hey, then a couple of words about your book still. So, okay. So what is inside it? You, you might want to show it also, but you have quite, yeah. how many, how many pages does this have? 200, I think 298. <laughs> Eight. So there really, there, there is a, like, for every, all the uses, you have uh, the templates, everything here, calculation models. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I don't have too many designs that people can just buy the book and make that rug. But I, mm. showed, I showed the finished piece, the, the finished rug, because if somebody wants to make most of them, they do have to draw it up themselves. Yeah, there, there aren't right. really many kits in there, but those charts, the chart that you just had open. Chart, exactly, it, yeah. It helps um, no matter what yarn you're using, the formulas, um, I mean, you, it can tell you how many um, skeins or strands you need of a color. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't even know about that until I was writing it, that, that you know, knowing how many strands that were in a skein and how many strands you put on a needle mm -hmm. tells you how much yarn you need and how many knots you get and how long the pile is, long exactly. or short. There's so many factors. And I, I really try to take them all into account and I'm not a mathematical whiz. I'm really not. But um, I found that it was so logical. It was easy to explain to a beginner and also easy for a, an advanced person to understand without, exactly. without talking down to yeah. anybody. But I um, need to say that I'm an engineer from my previous like IT engineer and I'm very into maths. And that's probably big why I also love making RIAs and making the calculations, because that's something what I get my, oh, I got that right. And, and that was yeah. the correct amount. And, and I sent yeah. the customer the correct amount and it was correct. And, and you know, it's yes. it's, the, it's also a beauty of, of that work. So you, yeah. you really measure or you can measure it quite well. Yes. Nice. And, and for example, just like you're saying, a customer who bought a kit, one of my Norwegian kits, because I, I buy them from Norway. Yeah. And she she decided not to use not to use the stick. L ruler, yeah. 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 And um, but she she knew she would need more yarn and she said, I'm okay with that. Mm. And she made it twice as long. And sh and she sent me how many knots she had left of every color yeah. on the chart and she said just send me yarn i i know and i'll pay you for it but just send and i said okay since you went to the trouble to count yeah. out all those knots i i applied my formulas and calculated how much yarn you need of every color and i sent her that so i'm waiting for her to finish so she can say so it was correct or yeah well i, I don't know yet <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> but see. it has to be it has to be yeah, yeah of course it's of math course. that's right that's right that's right hey somebody was asking i i haven't followed quite uh, oh. many many comments i saw that there are a couple but somebody was asking that where you can buy this and you can buy it from iltama shop so mm -hmm. uh, after this uh, live session i will i will write down under this Yes. That where do you find it? And during this week, and I will not take any for the sending, so you will get even ten percent, almost ten percent uh, discount on this. So nice. So, yes, we have it here in Finland. We have boxes, and I'm ready to order more from Melinda as soon as I'm selling those. Yay! Out, so. Spread the word. Yeah, we have also here nice pictures of of as you said from the Finnish Ria Rucks as well, and and the Ria Ruck, uh people yeah i'm just checking the timing so that we are not okay. eating any else time but yeah we have a couple of minutes still so yeah okay. but it has been a, a great journey and this has been a very nice nice speaking to you and, yes and it has so. I, I just want to say to people to get curious about ria and learn more and and try it and make it part of your life as a, you know in your home so children know about it because yeah. if if our children don't know then it it's just gonna peter out and in the united states that's that's what i worry about that yeah yeah i think we have now in in finland we have quite a big boom 
And yeah, that's great. Of, of course, I'm I'm the one who is wanting to <laughs> spread the word also yeah. all over the world. And by yeah. the way, Tuija, if you live in Belgium, yes, I will send it to you as well. So. Yay! Mm. Yes. Yeah. No worries. So so it is. I this this is. I hope it will be huge. In, I in hope the so. Near future. <laughs> yeah. And we will meet. Actually, I was invited to come to one of the uh, U.S. Uh, th this kind of sheep uh, workshop. Sheep and wool. Yeah, in I think that, yeah. It's, but it's then right near me. It's only two miles uh, away. Yeah, everything was cancelled. So oh. that's it. But let's oh, see. Yeah. Which year we, we can meet there. <laughs> you can stay at my house. I live yeah. just mi I'm five minutes from away. <laughs> Good. Great. <laughs> But hey, it's good time to uh, end up this call now. Yes. Thank you, Melinda. Thank, thank you. you. It was fun. And, and thank you, everybody watching. And uh, see you. <laughs> see you soon. Hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>